friends, I was really hoping to paint today, but I cannot find any of my brushes at all. So I'm really hoping that the green screen genie is back from vacation so he could help me find some brushes. Green screen genie, are you there? Green screen genie, I'm so happy that you are back from vacation. It's nice to see you. I'm having some trouble finding my paint brushes. Do you think you could get me something to paint with, please? I wonder what he will bring me. Green screen genie, hey, what did you come back with? Looks like you went to the kitchen. This is unexpected. I have a straw, some chopsticks, a bamboo stick, and two forks. One really big one and one really little one. All right, that's super cool. I can make some really nice lines with all of these. But genie, do you think um, you could bring me something to sort of make bigger sections, like if I wanted to do like the sky or something. Could you do that? Awesome, thank you. All right, I wonder what he'll bring me this time. Great, Judy. Where were you? Oh, you went out to the garden. Okay, so now I have some dried up things, some twigs, a little piece of lavender, and a spiky piece of juniper. Thank you, Green Screen Genie. That was fantastic. I really appreciated it. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things to experiment with, with painting. It certainly wasn't what I expected, but I'm sure it will make some interesting marks on the paper. Here we see the supplies that I am going to use for my painting. I have an egg carton to fill up with the food coloring and a couple colors of paint that I found. I have the big fork, the little fork, the chopsticks, the bamboo stick, the two twiggy type things, piece of juniper, a piece of lavender, and of course, a piece of paper. Okay, here we are back at my workshop area. This is what I have. I got my egg carton that has food coloring in it. So I use the food coloring I made blue, green, and red, but I also found some paint, some watercolor paint, and I mixed it up and sort of put it in here, and I've got yellow, orange yellow. This is supposed to be a thing called melon yellow, which come out pretty red, and this is ochre. This is a little container of clear water in case I want to make anything lighter. I'm gonna put this over here. Here are the things that I have. And let's see how this goes.
all for watching today. I hope you had fun uh, thinking about what you could use for painting if you don't have brushes. And remember, watercolors and food coloring work just about the same. So if you don't have paint, you can always use food coloring. Here's how my landscape came out. I've got a hedgehog, some yellow flowers that I made with a fork, red flowers that I made with the um, chopsticks, grass I made with some of the leaves, other leaves that I made crazy clouds with. Of course, the clouds should be white and the sky should be blue, but what are you gonna do? And that is it. And I would like to end by thanking my green screen genie. Green screen genie, <gasps> here you are, right here. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help today. Wave. Yay. Bye-bye. See you next time.